Hello, Washington DECA. This is Josh Walters, your previous Area 4 president. Hope everyone's been doing well. Uh, I'm here to give three tips on how to master the BMOR. So I've actually been in DECA for three years. I just finished my third year. And the first year I did BMOR with my uh, partner, Omi Kazamini, shout out to him. And uh, just right at the beginning, we were, we were kind of the underdogs. We had no idea what we were doing. You know, we, people didn't expect much from us. You know, they kind of preyed on our downfall a little bit. And we, we saw like the promotional DECA video and we saw them going up on there with the stage, with the glass. And me and Omi looked each other in the eyes and we said, we're going to get that glass. Like we just somehow knew it. And so basically we decided that whatever we we're going to do, we needed to stand out. And we came up with a good amount of ways to stand out in front of our judge, separate us from like the rest of our competitors. And so here are the three ways. So the first way is when you're coming up with an idea, uh, make sure you don't choose a company based on just whatever company you like to shop at, or like maybe one of your parents works at that company. Choose a company based on the ideas you already have. So look at the prompt for that, for the year, the BMOR prompt prompt and come up with a list of companies and come up with ideas and if you have like an idea for one of the companies that really stands out and is really going to improve that company um choose the company with the best idea because that's what's going to take you the furthest second when presenting uh there are a few things you can do so make sure when you're presenting you're going to also want to stand out there it's not just your ideas it's the way you present it so if you can come up with some really cool visual or some really cool prop and you can just take it the extra mile, right? So for example, we, uh, we made a store layout for our, um, for our store and we didn't just, you know, say, oh yeah, we're going to change a store layout. We made a 3d store layout and brought in the judge and every time the judge was wowed. So, you know, go the extra mile with trying to convey your idea, whether that's like some online simulation or some 3d prop or a fake, uh, a mock-up website, a mock-up app, whatever you can do, um, take it the extra mile. And then third, when presenting, uh, you know, these judges, they're gonna see a lot of presentations that day. So you're gonna wanna make sure that y they remember your vibe, you know, your energy. So like me and my partner, we always started with a story. We had a funny story about how we kind of uh, came up with our idea and it always made the judge laugh. And uh, we smile the whole time. Make sure that if you're not smiling, you're not positive, they're, uh, they're, gonna, they're not gonna leave. They're not gonna finish you know, judging you with a positive vibe. So maintain that positivity and just find any way you can to stand out. Uh, me and my partner, Omid, we actually ended up going all the way to nationals and uh, somehow getting glass. We still, Still don't know how to this day, but maybe these ideas will help. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you do well on your operations research paper. Uh, peace out, DECA.